Stonington's located in down eastern Maine in the Atlantic Flyway. It lands more lobsters here than any port in the state of Maine, so the big, biggest lobster catch is right here. We've been coming to Stonington since the early 90s, and here we are now, 2019, and it's changed dramatically. Huge decrease in the number of ducks that are available to us now. Biologically, they can explain it, but nobody seems to know why. The common eiders uh, are a sea duck species that that nest in Maine 120 years ago. Their population was almost non-existent, it was down to two pairs in the state of Maine. And now we're in the 20,000, hopefully, range. It's probably one of the least studied ducks there are in comparison to puddle ducks. Guys that duck hunt all the time, they say, well, how can that be different? It's, it's very different. Six hours of tide changing every six hours. You know, 10 to 12 feet of vertical tide. You're always doing something. You're going to worry about boats and people, and there's a lot to it. It's not for the faint of heart. Ducks are going to Shut come off. back from behind us. From, from coming this way across. Here, coming this way? Yep. Okay. We got 28 degrees Fahrenheit. We got 8.3 miles per hour winds. Hide in the rocks. Stay still, keep your guns down, and they'll, they're not looking for you, they're looking for the decoys, so they'll come right to you. See them? Yep. And unfortunately, as we've turned the corner into the new millennium, the population is starting to decline. And uh, we're very interested as to what those causes are. That our ocean, uh, right 200 yards away from where we're sitting, has warmed up a couple degrees in the last decade uh, as a result of climate changes that are occurring in the entire food web of the Gulf of Maine has been flipped on its head. Our favorite food item is a blue mussel. Almost 80% of their diet normally is a blue mussel, the same, the same mussel you would eat in a restaurant. Uh, at, at one time in Maine waters, the intertidal zone was a carpet of blue mussels. And uh, with the change in water temperature and some of the invasive species that are in the Gulf of Maine now, uh, I, it's difficult for me to admit this in my lifetime is it's getting difficult to find blue mussels. So if I can't find them, the sea ducks are probably having trouble finding them too. We're in a position now that the numbers have decreased such that, you know, to, to offer a pair of eiders to anyone that's hunting them is, is, is a real, it's a trophy bird now. Yeah, it really is. All right. Get these outside. Get him. I'm not giving him a finger again. It's going into social media. I'm going to make him perfect. Jump in. Let's go. Eider in town, they decoy very well. They, they like their own kind. They're very, very, very gregarious. Most of it's all long lines with window weights on each end of a 100-foot lead-coated line, and, and that's what we do. If an eider makes up its mind to join you, he'll be into your spread, so yeah, he's not wary. He doesn't make many passes. He makes one shot and he's in, or one shot and he's gone. He, he's either in or not. He doesn't give you a second chance.
Rigs out front, boys. Night, everybody sit still so you make a big turn. Today's hunt was dictated by the wind. We did not go where we had chosen last night, so we changed up our plan, went to plan B, if you will, and uh, got lucky. Why Maine is such a special place for them is because our coastline has thousands of islands. I'm happy to say that Probably 70% of the eiders nesting on the coast of Maine are nesting on an island that's owned or managed by a conservation agency. And from a standpoint of a wildlife biologist, to say that 70% or this large percentage of their nesting habitat is protected is just phenomenal. It's either wind, weather, tough birds, temperatures. You know, the sea is unforgiving, but uh, a lot of people want to try it. It's a bucket list for a lot of people. I've met some nice folks. Uh, a day out there that's a good day is incredible. And, and you will be hooked. Just the scenery alone. And the lobster. <laughs> I'm Bill, and I'm an avid waterfowler. My name's Brad Allen. I'm a wildlife biologist for the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife.